Competition of Limits Limit of Rational Function The limit of rational function can be found by direct substitution when the denominator is different from zero. Limit x approaches a fx over gx equal fa over ga provided when ga not equal zero. It means we can get answer directly when we substitute value of x for numerator and denominator and condition not 0 over 0. Limit of the rational function if both fx and gx are function with limit fx when x approaches a equal 0 and limit gx approaches a equal 0 then this can be solved by either first method factorization when when situation polynomials and second multiplication of conjugate when form set for this case when you substitute limit x approaches 1 for numerator and denominator you get 0 over 0 this case limit x approaches infinity when substitute direct you get infinity over infinity d is called the indeterminate form this happen when you substitute uh, this happen when Substitute directly limit x approaches 1 or infinity, you get 0 per 0. Then we call here direct substitution, here fail. Thus, we should go for factorization method in order to find the limit. Example, limit x approaches 1, x square minus 1 over x minus 1. When we direct substitute, we get 0 for numerator and also 0 for denominator. That's why we call direct substitution here fail. To solve, you must factorize for numerator because this part you can factorize. After factorize, you get x minus 1, x plus 1 over x minus 1. After factorize, okay. we can get answer limit x approaches 1, x plus 1 equal 1 plus 1 equal 2. Factorization method, another example, find the limit x approaches 2 when x square minus 4 over x minus 2 when we direct substitute we get 0 over 0 that's why we call indeterminate form to solve limit x approaches to for x square minus 4 x square minus 4 over x minus 2 you must factorize x square minus 4 and you get x minus 2 times x plus 2 over x minus 2 when, when you, you you can see here uh, numerator and denominator equal function that's why we can cancel after cancel you can get limit x approaches to x plus 2 then we can direct substitute limit value of limit x equal to inside this function you can get 2 plus 2 equal 4 <laughs> Another example, example 5. Find the limit x approaches 2 for x cubed minus 8 over x squared minus 4. When we direct substitute, we get 0 over 0. When this, this case we call indeterminate form. 
that's why you can factorize s cube minus a to factorize this function you can solve by using this form a plus minus b times a square minus plus a b plus b square after substitute your a and b you can add minus 2 times a square plus 2 add plus 4 for numerator you you are fi you finish factorize you can solve the denominator the denominator you can factorize x minus 2 times x plus 2 after that you can cancel x minus 2 both part then you can substitute your limit x equal to for numerator and denominator you can get 12 over 4 equal 3 for case multiplication of conjugate method if either fx or gx are function with cert fail by direct substitution or getting the indeterminate form the multiplication of conjugate method can be used example find the limit x approaches 2 for x minus 2 over square root x plus 2 minus 2 when we substitute direct limit uh, x equal to inside this function you can get 0 over 0 this case we, we call indeterminate form to solve you must conjugate both 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 part numerator and denominator after conjugate you can simplify and get x minus 2 times square root x plus 2 plus 2 over x minus 2 after that you can cancel x minus 2 for numerator and denominator part then you can substitute limit x equal or approaches 2 inside this function when substitute x equal to inside this function you get square root 4 plus 2 square root 4 plus 2 equal 4 example 7 find the limit Find the limit for limit x approaches 0 1 minus square root x plus 1 over x When we substitute directly x equals 0 inside this limit You can get 0 per 0 We call this indeterminate form To solve, you must conjugate both sides Numerator part and denominator part After simplify, you can get 1 minus x plus 1 over x times 1 plus square root x plus 1 after simplify you can get negative 1 over 1 plus square root x plus 1 then you can substitute limit value of limit x equals 0 inside this function you can get negative 1 over 2 example 8 if fx equals square root, square root x, find limit x approaches 0, fx plus h minus fx over h. You for us to solve, you have fx equals square root x. For fx plus h, you substitute your x plus h inside your function square root x. You can get square root x plus h. Then you substitute inside the formula, you get square root x plus h minus square root x over h if you substitute direct limit h equals 0 you can get 0 over 0 we call this the indeterminate form that's why we can conjugate your conjugate square root x plus h plus square root x you sub conjugate both side numerator and denominator part after simplify you can get x plus h minus x over h time square root x plus h plus set x after simplify you can cancel h 
remember don't don't expand your denominator part then you can substitute your limit h approaches zero you substitute h equals zero inside this function you get one over two square root x